Hello guys, <laughs> here it is, the start of my third age campaign. You excited? Oh, I'm excited. Uh, the faction that won the vote, uh, Free People of Eriador, probably not a big surprise since you probably saw that on the title of this video. Uh, first off, I want to thank everyone for voting. Um, really appreciate the attention I got on this video, and I got a lot. Uh, this is the video that I made that, made that have gained the most votes. So thanks a lot for that. Really appreciate that. I take that as a sign that you're excited about this campaign. About as excited as I am, which is cool. Also want to give a big thanks to Hephaestion, Mr. Mate, White Eagle, uh, Snowhood, and um, Alex Ramblings for commenting on the video and bringing it, bring it to people's attention. So it probably reached uh, more people than I would have been able to get on my own, which is cool. Um, so thanks for that. Also want to give a special thanks to White Eagle for <laughs> helping me set up the Third Age, helping me set up uh, the Moss uh, Massive Overhaul Submod, which I will be using. As you can see here, adding Sylvan Elves and Elves of Lorien separately on. As, uh, as well, a lot of other things as well, you'll see. Uh, but he helped me set it up and make sure that this is going to be a bug-free campaign. Hopefully. So let's just get started. This is going to be a long campaign. We're going to play hard difficulty, hard battle difficulty, manage all cities, no battle time limit. Um, free people of area door. We have to defeat the Orcs of Misty Mountains and Orcs of Gundabad. So with that, let's roll the intro video. go. By the way, I'm using, like I said, the massive overhaul submod, the mass mode. Also using the extended map uh, submod for that again. Uh, should add a lot more settlements. And I'm also using some ancillaries, added ancillaries for generals and stuff like that. So now I'm just going to select which what I want, uh, the submods I want. Um, this is allows the allied factions or the good factions to call uh, crusades, I think or invasions, much like the evil factions can. So we're going to accept that. Invasions happened earlier. Uh, do we really want that? I'm uh, going to decline it. Not with that feeling. I've been advised to turn this off. I've had some few discussions with some people, so I'm going to turn the garrison script off for more balanced. Uh, resurrect allied factions. If they're out, we can take their capital, hold our own capital, and we can resurrect, say, Rohan, if they're de defeated by us and God, we can bring him back. Boromir, uh, yeah, let's keep him in his old or plates is cool. Now let's keep him like this. Play with diplomacy, yes. Uh, that basically means that uh, if I'm allied to a good faction and I'm attacked by an evil faction, that good faction will basically be forced into war, and miss and like vice versa. So I didn't uh, add on the garrison script, but I'm gonna give them some other stuff like mysterious documents, which I think gives Saruman some better troops eventually. Same with Rune. And this is also uh, 
a script which I think means that every so often uh, Isengard will spawn some armies. Not gonna be very <laughs> pleasant for Rohan, but oh well. Uh, this is gonna give uh, Orcs of Gundabad some uh, extra forces or some extra units. Not gonna be pleasant for us, but oh well. Immortal heroes, no, I want to care about them. I want them to die. Well, I don't want them to die, but I want to have the pos possibility of them dying. Um, yeah, let's do that. I want to know when places are taken. Counter invasions, yes. I wish that was in the vanilla game for Medieval 2 as well. Reforged armor, well, it's a good thing that it says uh, Reforged armor because that is going to be the, well, not necessarily the single goal of this campaign, but it is definitely a clear ambition. We will reforge armor. We will become the kingdom of Arnor. But I'm not gonna start off like that, because that's no fun. You gotta do it your own, right? Immortal Nazgul's? Nope. <laughs> no, uh, Nazgul is immortal to us. We have hobbits. And possibly a few females as well. Trial and Regency, if there's a. Mm, I, I have no idea what, is it, what this is. Makes. Uh, Makes it harder for a weak leader and uh, might help getting rid of them. Uh, also, <laughs> uh, enables executing chosen characters. I don't know what this is. Let's try it. Improves the forces of mortar, I think. Let's do that. Because I'm stupid. Central administration? No, I want to micromanage everything. Okay, uh, elven rangers. I guess we get some elven rangers. Or we can recruit them, I'm not sure. Sounds cool. And that's about it. And uh, apparently, there and back again, written by Bilbo Baggins, is in possession of uh, our faction heir. Kept for safekeeping. So let's see, this is what we got here. Not a whole lot. I think this is Shire. Yeah, this is Shire. And, uh, oh, Gandalf. Hello, Gandalf. Your orders, my lord. Fun. <laughs> he looks pretty good. So, like I said, we want to reforge uh, the former kingdom of Arnor, which means we're gonna have to do a few things. We have to restore the old borders. We have to expand a bit. Oh, crap, not here. <laughs> but we will do that, we will do that. First off, let's uh, start here in... Um, uh, Anu Minas. Oh, King Aragorn. Cool. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, he's married to Arvin, and this is his son, uh, Arafor, and he's also got Eldarion. <laughs> Named after Elrond. Arvin had something to do with this? Maybe. Aragorn, son of Arathorn. Halbarad. He was also captain of the Rangers of the Great Company, which is pretty cool. Ranger of the North. And he's got a few um, ch childs as well, children as well. But yeah, we're gonna start here in Anaminas. And this is the former capital of Arnor. And we have to rebuild the kingdom halls or something like that, or the Hall of Kings. To do that, we're gonna have to uh, increase the population, uh, upgrade the settlement. So I'm gonna focus on settlement growth here, low tax commander with the uh, high chivalry and a lot of uh, farming and stuff like that. So we're definitely going to do that. Uh, our capital now is Bree though. Oh, here it is. There we go. Yeah. And uh, actually I'm going to start moving a bit aggressively already because we have Amon Sul here. And that was a part of uh, Arnor and uh, yes, I'm thinking Your we should take it back. Lord. I'm thinking we should take it back. Yes. I should probably actually scout it first and see what they have. My lord. Uh, and it would be good to have a fortress like that. Tomorrow's journey okay. plan. Was that your best shot? <laughs> okay, if they're led by peasant axemen, then I'm not too worried. I have One, nothing two, three, to four, say to five, you. Six Scum. units, possibly rubbish units. Uh, but then again, we got possibly rubbish units as well. But led by Gandalf, what can go wrong? Or should I let this guy lead them? Yes, my lord. Uh, what, what, what the hell? Why does he look, look like Gandalf? 
I don't like that. But now he looks like the. Okay, there's a bug yes, with this guy. Lord. There's a bug with this guy. But let's just ignore him and um, ignore the choice Lord whether to send Lord. this guy or Gandalf. Let's send them both. We'll hide in the forest here. We can go no further. Yes, uh, my we'll lord. Send these guys. Uh, Gandalf, your orders, my lord. I'll guard him now. You will take yes, command of three. Lord. Keep him happy. Uh, might be your a watchtower here. Who knows? This tower will keep vigil over the. So we're gonna do that. Fram is his name. Or in origin. Uh, let's do some land clearance, population growth. Do that. Oh, we're losing money, but what can you do? Roads would be good. Oh, these are expensive. Oh, dirt roads. I thought that was dirt roads. Okay, I see. Stable chicken farming. Population growth, cool. Like I said, this is, the, this is uh, new to me. I've never played Third Age before. I've tried out a bit with Gondor and uh, Dwarves for a few turns. But nothing like big at all. Is this going to be new for me as well? Now yes, hoping we'll see an awesome campaign. We got quite a bit of forces here, but I don't know where to send them. Let's get some diplomats. Um, oh, we don't have a diplomat. Crap. <laughs> Let's get one. Um, somewhere. Assassin, not quite a chivalrous style of Aragorn. Let's drop that and yeah, let's do some building again. Um, I'm basically just getting land clearance and farming and stuff like that. This is our castle, I think. Oh, and this is the guy who's got there and back again by Bilbo Baggins of the House of Valendale, son of Isildur. May one day be king of Arnor. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Your orders, my lord. Uh, yes, my send lord. Him to your orders, my lord. Kinda want someone here. Uh, oh, that's perfect, actually. Build watchtower tower and jump back to that. I don't really know what we're bordering against, what we got. Um, which is kind of frustrating. Yes, my lord. Let's send you around here. Yes. Just to get an overview of what we got. This tower oh. will keep vigil over the land. What? What? Take it! <laughs> we shall engage. <laughs> we have uh, and the triumph. first settlement is gained. Lord, our and honor have How the hell we did this is a mystery to me, but I shan't complain. Merchants, garrison, uh... Balready Dundane. Sweet! We kinda need a farm, we kinda need... Oh, expensive. Money first, money first, money first. Economy, 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 economy very important now we can't recruit anything from anywhere this is awful um can't we get like something somewhere nope hmm <laughs> what <laughs> Malor the defender aka Robert Baratheon what the hell guardian of the shire I'm tempted to send this guy down. Um, Your orders, my lord. I don't really know what we got here. Okay, let's well, let's set him here yes. and give the watchtower here. This tower will keep vigil over the. Land. Was that your best shot? What? Who are you? Peasant axman. Small army. Assemble the yes, hobbits. Yes, my lord. With honor. I'm gonna assemble the armies of, Shire of the Shire. Uh. Oh, you're not very good, are you? Oh, you're not very good, are you? Okay. Orders. Your will, my lord. Well, By your team command. up in long bottom. Your orders, my lord. Leave the archer militia. He's going to be commanding orders. everything. Yes, my lord. My lord. <laughs> and we if have assembled the hobbits. Your orders, my lord. I'm going about it a bit aggressively here, um, but I just want to capture the quickly uh, the rebel settlements before they fall to say the elves or the dwarves probably not the dwarves around here but like we definitely want to kind of uh, get it under our control or get working on the yes my lord 
That was some pr You're protection welcome, at least. Lord. This tower will keep vigil over I really the like getting like uh honor. Your orders, my lord. What you call it? Watchtowers up and no about everywhere. Like this, you might notice that. I mean, I want to have visual over, over my land lands. and whoever yes, is lord. in it. Hiding Especially forest enemy. regions, because there it can people can hide and it can get quite close. Your orders, my lord. Um, let's see. Here. Yes, my lord. Uh, can we? I don't know, like how far With the region honor. is. Is that up here, maybe? Yes. Oh. Uh, shit. Oh. We are failed disgraced. to. Fall back and retreat. Failed. He failed. Lord he failed to uh, ambush us, but we are now in trouble. Can we get Your to him? Will. Militia. Will, my lord. Arch militia. I'm gonna leave the arch my militia, lord. I think, and get will, these guys to help. You wish. In case they attack yes, him, that, that would be pretty bad. Oh, I could build more places, or at more places, but I'm kind of not really willing to spend a lot of money. I mean, we don't have that much to begin with. Um. Give some, put some money into Shire, shall we? Mm, Michael Delwyn, yeah. Let's get some farms here. Ugh. And that's it. That's it. Your orders, my lord. Moving these guys down here. As soon as I figure out what's like in this area, I can assemble the pro uh, troops from here and Fornost. Although it's very important for us to keep Fornost uh, heavily defended because we cannot lose Fornost, and I think we are. I mean, if they, I think the orcs of Gundabad is what we're facing to the north or northeast, and they would be coming for Fornos first. I mean, giving their geographic location, or maybe they would come for uh, Amonsul, which we're trying to take. Who knows? A quest for a hero. What's this? Chieftain Aragorn, these are dark times we live in. A shadow covers the lands of Middle Earth, with whispers of a great evil lurking in the east. It is said that the Nine have left Minas Morgul and are traveling west across the lands as we speak. I have a feeling that the storm is coming and we would better be prepared. It would be best if you travel to the city of Bree in order to acquire information about all what happens beyond our borders. We should go to the Prancing Pony where many travelers rest from their long journey. Perhaps there are men from the south or dwarves from the east provinces that can provide us with valuable information. You're right now, my friend. May your journey be blessed. Quest for a hero? What the hell is this? Okay, away. Away. King Aragorn, you have been summoned yes, to Yes, my lord. With honor. And we shall go. Oh, these guys Order. did have to go, though. Dang it. Oh, well, whatever. Let's see what the mission was. Let's take a settlement. Ah! Well, Your orders, I was going for this. But if you prefer that, how long do we have, though? Fifteen thir turns. Yes, my lord. How about we? Where is it again? Check it out. Your orders, my lord. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We could take that with our Hobbit army. For sure. Palantir. The Palantir are housed in Minas Tirith, Baradur, Isengard, and El Elosterion. Do not know where this is. The last one that is. Oh, family members! Hooray! Mayor Bree, King Aragorn, Lord Chancellor, Lord Marshal. Fun. Who, who? What? They were definitely kids, but they're not these guys. Were they not of the family? Oh well. Oh well. We got a agent. Respect Your other cultures, that's great. How about you respect the elves? That's Stopping another thing here. King Aragorn yes, will be looking Lord. to do, reforge the alliance of man and elf. Huh. You douchebag, we're gonna take I care have of nothing to if say we can, to you. My Lord. 52. Approaching quietly. Can we take, okay, they got bandits. 
peasant archers and huntsmen. Huntsmen. Uh, it's not Your nothing amazing. I think we should be able to do this, right? Mm. Yeah, for sure. Yes, my lord. So we're gonna siege Amunsu next on. turn. We're number thirteen all over. Probably not very good, is it? Your orders, oh. my lord. My lord. Um. Yes, my lord. Why are we sticking back in here? Yeah? With honor. Sevalia, can we take out this guy? I am here only to fight thee, not to banter. Was that your orders? My oh lord. yeah, let's uh, take out some rebels. To battle. We can't allow rebels in our lands, can we? Attack. Lord Arafor, son of Aragorn, takes revenge for this. Uh, I figured I have to show you battle before I end this episode. We have the brave Dunedain, Dunedain Rangers. Firing here, they're long range, they're pretty epic. Dropping some huntsmen over here. We got the son of Aragorn moving in on the side. So why we don't need a group with this few many. <laughs> pretty cool looking. Here he is. Now we got Brilla Militia, nothing interesting there, but the Greenway Guard. These troops are pretty cool. And pretty good actually. And the, the green way is actually the way between well, the old way between Arno and Gondor. It's called the Green Way because it I guess it has been used for a while, so it's kind of been overgrown and everything. Um, but still it's like uh, the free people of Eriador's main source of uh, trade and look how many guys we dropped here, it's crazy. So since they moved here we're gonna skirmish back. Uh, these guys are actually pretty awesome melee units as well. So, but I, I don't want to use them too much in the melee because I want to, to uh, kind of preserve their numbers because I guess we're not going to be able to recruit a lot of these guys yet. And why are you moving so freaking slow? Everyone assemble here. But yeah, like I said, the Greenway Guards are like the elite um, guys, I think, of area Eriador. Because they're the ones protecting they're like the first line of defense protecting these this trade route, which is very important for Eridor, obviously. Stop charging the spearmen here, that's stupid. We're gonna move out. Gonna hold them a bit here and hope that the Dunedain Rangers do some damage. I don't think we lost that many guys here though, as if we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Dunedain Rangers shoot. Let's run into the peasant archers. Well, I'm quite curious to see how many kills the Doom Den Rangers will get after this battle. I got a plan. Let's get up here and charge downhill. We'll steal your hilltop advantage. Shooting at the spearmen, right? Recharge that. Oh, up the hill. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Dude. Charge. Of course, they're skirmishing away. This person next minute, I'm going to get it. Why well, prepare for the Brilla militia? Oh, what's that sound? Horse hooves? Holy crap! Good tidings. The enemy general You're lies dead, mate. dead. Only half the enemy force remains. <laughs> Loose formation, not gonna help you. Actually, these blokes are annoying. The huntsmen. Don't walk, run. Or something. Nah, just shoot these guys. Oh, they're routing. Behold how our ah, everyone's routing. Runs. Cool. It's time to press the attack. Well, we won that first battle. Let's uh, let just me uh, hunt down these guys, and we'll skip to the uh, results. <laughs> we lost eight guys. They lost four hundred and forty-six. I, uh, you do not. Camp Sag. Oh. Honor. 
Oh, we got some income from sacking their camp as well. That's cool. Yes, my lord. So let's hold up in this Conceal forest, build a watchtower. This tower will keep vigil over Actually, the land. I want this guy to kind of keep... Oh, here's our border. Let's set up a watchtower With there, then. Honor, we shall continue Rebel. tomorrow. Uh, right. Oh, what's this? Huh. Trade increase to in command. Oh, cool. Your orders, my lord. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> it's Guardian of Amun Sul, and we don't even have Amun Sul. I think it's time I end the first episode right here. Um, what's happening basically is that we're just building up, building up, building up. Yes, my lord. Yes, and my lord. Uh, <laughs> sending the hobbies to war. Your orders, my lord. But I hope you enjoyed this first part. I hope you will be looking forward to the next parts. Um, yes, my I lord. I definitely look forward to playing around a lot more with this mod. So thank you guys for your support. I'll be seeing you soon. So take care, guys. Iskaldvala out.